The Citadel Mall is not just your one-stop shop for apparel, food, and entertainment. It's a movie soundstage and now home to the Harbor Entrepreneur Center. Joining us is Ginger and Richard Davis, owners of the Citadel Mall, and John Osborne, co-founder of the Harbor Entrepreneur Center. Thank you all for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Good to be here. John, I want to direct my first question to you. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the Harbor Entrepreneur Center. You already have a location. How many more square feet have you increased this uh, wonderful thing that you've created? Yeah, no, thanks. Um, so the Harbor Entrepreneur Center is uh, eight years old now. It's been a great uh, endeavor, um, really with a mission of co creating collision among the entrepreneur community. You know, we've always just wanted to connect all the entrepreneurs in our community and just let them do what they do. So uh, the location at the Citadel Mall is going to add another 6,500 square feet um, for entrepreneurs to do just that. Uh, tell us more about this because you call it a collision. Um, I'd like to tell people a little bit more about the mission behind creating the center and what it does provide to the community. Yeah, it really is. You know, for people who are starting businesses, you know, the knowledge share that happens when you really yeah. just create that that collision. You put people together, you let them bounce ideas off of each other. And the knowledge share that happens when you connect all those dots is really impressive. And we've seen the growth of the entrepreneur scene here over the last 10 years, largely due to that knowledge share and letting people just interact with one another. So the ability to do that in such a great facility like um, Citadel Mall is, is something we're excited about. And I want to talk a little bit more about who makes the best clients or tenants. Uh, you can tell us what the appropriate term is, but I want to move over to uh, Ginger and Richard. Now, Richard, you're the founder and CEO of Trademark Properties. You are also a trailblazer in terms of reality TV as it pertains to real, real estate. Um, you gain national fame with Flip This House. I think a lot of us remember when that came on. Uh, TV, but um, did you ever dream as a mall owner that it would evolve in such a way that it would now be home to something like the HEC? Oh, absolutely. Like, like, did I ever dream? Fill out the rest of the question. Being a mall owner? No. But um, repurposing forgotten real estate? Absolutely. We just, we chase the asset class that, that basically needs the most love that people are looking at. And great location. I'm always about highest and best use. And most people just look at things and say, this is what it is. That's what it's always going to be. And to John's point, we don't look at it that way. We like entrepreneurs. We like the collide um, analogy that he used. And we want to fill this place up. We think outside the box. Now we're filling up the box with people that are like-minded. And when you talk about real estate, because everything now has gone online. So I think a lot of people fear, a lot of people in real estate fear that, well, if everything is going online, there is not going to be as much need for development. But this whole concept kind of turns that on its ear. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, it. so Ginger and I, we basically walked away from a TV contract doing housing. And the first time I saw a default notice on this mall, I said, hey, we are changing the asset class very quietly. We started chasing this mall in 2009. And, and first time it was legally allowed to be sold was 2017. So we didn't buy it and just hope that we're going to change it. We've literally had over $3 million in design work done. And so we knew exactly what this thing is going to look like 10 years from now. We knew five years ago. And I think John can attest to that. John was one of the early people. We knocked on his door and said, look, we, you know, John's a former banker. Try to get a banker who thinks creatively. There's not three of them <laughs> on the planet. And so John's a perfect fit. He's one of the few. And so um, we went in and said, look, we think differently. And so, you know, we, we didn't recruit them over here, but we recruited them. We wanted to be a, a part of his tribe and vice versa. And so when he knocked on the door and, and Ginger said that John was interested, we're like, hey, it's a perfect fit. Absolutely. And, and Ginger, I'd like to hear from you as well. What are your thoughts? You know, I think flipping houses sounds like an absolute blast, but this business has really taken on a whole other personality. Absolutely. I think it's really the same um, concept, just in a different format. The difference now is we have, I think, 80 spaces here existing and a lot of space that we're going to develop as well. So we've got 80 projects all on one piece of property. So it's nice to have um, one site where we go every day and, and we can do a variety of projects in that one place. 
I can see why. I mean, when I say one-stop shop, and I mentioned a few things, apparel, entertainment, food, but it is a soundstage, also home to MUSC, and now the HEC. So uh, what's next? I mean, what do you envision is next for the Citadel Mall? Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned. We have seven elements. We think we, we think we have a format that can fix about 50 to 100 malls around the country and and so there's seven different elements. You've seen two of them and, and the rest are on the way. That's wonderful. Well, this is a great place to take a break. When we come back, I want to talk to John again and to get to know a little bit better uh, who make the best tenants, clients, however you want to define them. We're going to do that after the commercial, so don't go anywhere. Welcome back. We've been chatting with Ginger and Richard Davis, owners of the Citadel Mall and founders of Trademark Properties. And John Osborne, he's the co-founder of the Harbor Entrepreneur Center. And John, you've been described as a contradiction of terms, a creative banker. Um, but that's what the HEC is all about. It's about creative minds coming together as a collision, as you've described it. So can you tell us who would make the best tenants, clients, whatever you call them, to join the HEC? Sure, absolutely. In terms of who you know is a good fit to come and rent space at the Citadel Mall, it's nomads like me that are tired of taking Skype meetings from their car. But the you know the the infrastructure there really enables the knowledge share that I was referring to, and people coming together that are growing businesses to just connect with each other and, and learn and be around that kind of activity. It, it can be a lonely journey sometimes. So anyone out there who's growing a business, aspiring to grow a business, come and work out of the center in order to, to be around like-minded people. You know, in addition to the space, we have programmatic offerings that are our accelerator program for, for early stage companies, our forum groups for um, more proven CEOs, and then the JRS Code School for those looking to develop their um, skills as a software developer. So not just a you know, space to work out of, but lots of programmatic activity at the harbor. So, John, how do people apply? Certainly the best way to reach out is through our website. You know, there's contact forms there for space, all the programmatic offerings. So hit harborec.com and definitely reach out. Okay. And Ginger and Richard, this sounds like a lot of synergy happening. I, I think you could probably pluck some talent that's going to be developed over the HEC. Absolutely. Our goal is to, to use this as an incubation for other tenants. As those businesses grow, we'd love for them to grow in place with us. Wonderful way to end this. Thank you, everyone, so much for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. And Thank best you. of luck. We'll be looking forward to seeing what happens in 2021. We'll be back after this. <laughs> 